Howdy there, Mr. Abbott. I hope you're doing well this morning. I'm Let's see if I can get this video to work for me here and kind of get in a little on my left hand to get uh, get this song under your fingers. It's a it's a real fun one, man. Once you get it, you be playing it every time you pick up your guitar for a couple weeks. But um, yeah, so it's at an E, right? And I don't I don't use a capo and. Um, that being said, the first fret here on the third string, that uh, major third, the A flat of the of the song, uh, or the key of E major, that's down the whole time. So everything is coming around that note being there. It can be a tendency to want to take it up and make it a minor chord, but um, you've got that minor seven in there, and it's a real uh, dominant type of sound. So. Everything's coming. With this note down the whole time. So, um, just keep that in mind. There's a few licks uh, that happen over and over again that once you figure that much of it, you've almost got half the song. The main one being... That's how it starts, which I'm sure you've probably figured out. Whoop, that was a little sloppy. Slide into that fifth fret and then against the opening there too, you know. This part that's that's a little tricky um, what's tricky I think is when you hit that note that E I play this note in passing which is the same you know pitch but it's it's just kind of a passing tone to kind of keep the line going you know it's a phrasing issue I think for a guitar it's not this isn't really a guitar friendly song per se as it would be for a fiddle, you know. And it just kind of rolls after that, you know. There's not really any any space between it. So that's what's going on with that. That's kind of the one tricky part of the uh, of the A. And uh, the last tag on the A part, I think Let's see, I think it goes. That's kind of a strange order, too. It's starting on uh, the A, and then to the A flat, and then to the open B string, and then that E on the second fret there. So, uh... part uh, starts on the open D. That open A and the same rhythm for the next phrase. Then you start on the A that time. Right? And then that intro lick again. Whoops. part and does it again and then the same lick is in the beginning and it ends just 
like the A part ended with a, it's that type of thing. So I'll play it w one time through um, at a medium tempo. Uh, I'll just do one A and one B. Anticipated one, you know. Dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. for you and hopefully that'll help out a little bit at least um, once you memorize the melody you can sing it in your head over and over and you're humming it while you're making a sandwich for lunch you know it's not that hard uh, to get it under your hands that's the only way I can learn tunes is to uh, just listen to it probably about five or six times in a row and then you kind of get sick of it but at least you can have enough uh, in your short term memory osmosis of, of the tune, you know, if that makes sense at all. But anyway, I hope that helps. And uh, good luck. I'll see you soon, man. <laughs>